the new robot vacuums coming in 2025 are absolutely insane. I was at CES this year, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas, and the manufacturers have come out in full force with a lot of really interesting, really crazy technology that you're gonna be able to buy in the next couple of months. So let me tell you about it. I cover all kinds of vacuums, and I was at CES, the Consumer Electronics Show in Las Vegas last week, and all the big manufacturers have come out to show what they're gonna give us in 2025, and I can tell you that the stuff I saw there was absolutely nuts. So I wanna show you. First, I wanna say that this content is not sponsored. No one paid us to go to any of the booths. This is basically just our own editorial opinion and insight as to what's going on in the industry right now. Now, the first big surprise was a robot vacuum with an arm, and not one, but two. There are two companies with robot vacuums with arms, and they're doing things a little bit differently, so we're gonna get into that in just a second. And Saturn is waiting for the wrap up from CES too, because you know, he wants to attack all of the different robot vacuums that are coming out, because that's his specialty. So we're gonna talk about some of the trends at CES this year, and then we're gonna talk about the birds that are coming in through the window that he wants to eat. Now the first trend I'm seeing is the roller or track style mop robot. Now that is something that was pioneered by Eufy S1 Pro. They had it out first last year. It's got a roller instead of a different kind of mop. And it's sort of like a paint roller if you can imagine that. So that's a big trend right now. And the vacuum manufacturers that are doing this are Narwhal, Ecovax, and what they've done is they've all gone one step further than just the roller. They all have rollers that extend out to the sides now so it can uh, mop, mop you up your, your baseboards and get right up close to the edge. And likewise, we are seeing the introduction now of a clean water tank and a dirty water tank on board. And this kind of comes in conjunction with this mop roller style, though it's not exclusive to it. And so a number of manufacturers have kind of moved in this direction again pioneered by Eufy last year. So now we've got Dreamy, Narwhal, and Ecovax, Roborock that are actually doing this dual water tank system too. So when your robot is out vacuuming, it's gonna be spraying fresh water on the mop, hopefully keeping it cleaner. And then when it goes back, when it's cleaning up your floor, it's gonna be sucking up that dirty water and dumping it out in the base station. So I'm looking forward to testing all of these different robots this year that have that technology. So that is a big, that's a big trend. Now the next big crazy trend that I'm seeing this year that was started with the Roborock Q-Robo Curve last year, I think they were the first one, was step climbing. And Roborock has introduced their Saros line, which is their flagship line, and all the robots in this flagship line, which are three of them, can actually do some minor step climbing. Now we're not talking about climbing stairs, we're talking about climbing a step anywhere from about this big to maybe an inch and a half. So the ones that can do it now are the Dreamy X50, the Eureka J15, and basically all of the new Saros line that I mentioned from Roborock. Now the next big trend is better obstacle avoidance. I think this is a permanent trend and some of the manufacturers are addressing this by having a new suite of sensors instead of relying just on LiDAR and cameras. They've got time of flight sensors. So this is a slightly different technology. It's a more advanced technology. And essentially instead of scanning your room over a period of time with a bunch of individual pulses, my understanding is that a time of flight sensor which is gonna sit on top of the robot can scan your entire room with a single pulse so it's a lot faster. Roborock claims that their time of flight sensor is 21 times faster at mapping and navigating through your room because of this new sensor style. I think we're gonna see more of this. It's pretty new technology, but it has been adopted at least right now by uh, Dreamy and Roborock, maybe there's some others. And the other thing that we're starting to see more of, it's sort of different strategies for obstacle avoidance. We're seeing dual cameras. Like I said, we're seeing these time of flight sensors. We're seeing a combination of sensor suites being deployed. Now the absolutely most crazy trend I have seen is the introduction of the robot arm. Roborock has the Saros Z70. It can lift up to 300 grams and identify four different types of objects right now. They're saying it's gonna be able to expand and do more objects in the near future. No pricing yet, they're saying availability is gonna be by June of this year. Now Dreamy also has a robot arm that can do a few more things. It can lift up to 500 grams 
and it can use different tools to perform actions around your house like scrubbing the floor if you've got a little stain there. They're saying that their robot arm robot is going to come out sometime in August. Let me know if you think this is going to be a trend that is going to stay or it's just a fad. Now I did bring my partner in crime Ryan to CES. It was his very first time and I think he was just having a little bit too much fun. The next booth that I went to was Narwhal, and they are introducing their brand new flagship. It's called the Narwhal Flow. And this is a really interesting piece of tech for them. So they are one of the ones that have this uh, track style, roller style mop. And of course, it moves out to the side like they all do now. That is the new standard. And it has got an onboard clean water tank and a dirty water tank. And that was my only real complaint with the Narwhal Frio Z that came out last year, which I think is an excellent robot. It didn't have a clean water tank on board or a dirty water tank, so it couldn't uh, map, or rather it couldn't mop multiple floors. So in my opinion, Narwhal and Ecovax are two companies that are focusing on the basics and sort of getting those things right. I'm not saying they don't have the crazy technology that Roborock and Dreamy do. They are probably working on it in-house, but they seem a little bit more focused, in my opinion, of, of producing some stuff that is a little bit more value conscious and does the basics really well. So over at the Ecovax booth, their new flagship is called the DBot X8 Pro Omni. So this is going to have a better navigation system. It also has the roller mop style that extends out to the side. Then they also introduced two new versions of their T50. That is a more affordable style of robot. They've also got a series of lawnmowers, which is pretty cool, and they have updated their WinBot series, the window cleaners, which I think they're kind of cool. Now, one of the bigger surprises of the show was SwitchBot. They've got a new line called the K20 Plus, and they are doing something that no other manufacturer is doing right now. Let me show you my impressions from the booth. Now, this isn't just a vacuuming robot. This actually has a whole complete ecosystem that does some things I've actually never seen before. This is really interesting. So let's go down here. Let's start with the actual robot itself. So this robot can connect to this fusion platform. And this can, so in addition to doing just regular vacuuming like you would expect, this can actually serve as a motor to move around this entire platform around your house and you have different features and different options that you can put on it. So, for example, this is an optional camera, so you can use this as a bit of a security function. You can check in on your pets, or you could move this around your house. You can also connect this air purifier to it as well. So this can move around your home. You can move this purifier to one room or another. And then on top, you have different options for this base. So for example, this has got a wireless charging pad for your phone. So you could move your phone to the room where you're in and it'll be fully charged when you get there. I know it's kind of crazy, but we do live in the future right now. And of course, if you really need to have more video, if you need to watch Vacuum Nerds, which you really should, and your iPad isn't in the room with you, no problem. You can actually put it on the stand and as you're eating your grapes, and your fruits on your sofa. This can bring it to you and you can watch me on your sofa courtesy of the, K, the SwitchBot K20 Plus Pro. There's another new manufacturer coming out with robots starting in the spring. It's called Mova. They've got a product line of three different robot vacuums and they've got a wet dry vacuum as well. And then Eureka has got their brand new J15 flagship. They previously had a roller mop style design. They've actually moved away from it with the J15. Now they have two spinning mop pads. So Tenneco does not have robots, but they are a partner with Ecovax. They're an Ecovax company. They've got a new wet dry vac called the Floor One Artist Steam. That is brand new. That's going to be coming out, I think, in the next couple of months. And they've got the Floor One Stretch S6. And what they're doing is they're pricing these sort of in the mid range. So they're adding a lot of values, a lot of features. I think they're kind of trying to compete with things like the, uh, the Samsung Jet for a little bit less money. So that's going to be interesting to watch too. And I'll get some review units when those become available. If you like this video, please subscribe. I'm going to have reviews coming up of a lot of these products, starting with the Dreamy X50, probably be in the next week or so. My name is Eric. Thanks for watching. See you in the next one.